Hello beautiful and welcome to another video. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Cosmina and on this channel we are playing with makeup. We're reviewing a lot of makeup. We're doing some Sephora gratis because I'm a Sephora employee as well. And we're just kind of having fun. So if you're interested in a channel like that, then go ahead and uh, click that subscribe button. Now, let's talk about foundations. These are the foundations that I've tried in the month of February. And I want to take you and explain how I like them, what I think the best method of application it is, and when, where do I think these are worth to be worn. So let's get into it. So let's start with Calu Ray, which is called Free Dreaming Clean Blurring Skin Tint. This comes in 10 shades and you find it at Sephora for $39. And this is supposed to be a clean, this is supposed to be a clean brand. The same founder that founded uh, Urban Decay the same founder for Calu Ray as well. And this one promises to be a light formula with a light coverage, very hydrating, clean and planet positive, it says. A natural finish without silicones. It says a clean, super lightweight with 94.5 natural origin ingredients and regenerating antioxidants that hydrates and blurs to minimize imperfections. It says that it has Plicky pear extract antioxidant that hydrates. It has a vitamin C and E, firms and plump, and it has jojoba oil, which is supposed to amp up the cellular energy, detoxify, and helps the skin glow. It says the product is vegan, clover to fee, gluten free, and it comes in recyclable packaging. So this one I tried um, and I really did enjoy it. I actually do like it. It does give you a little bit more than sheer coverage. In my opinion, I, I, I kind of like to say this is more of a light coverage. And it is very beautiful on the skin. I prefer to put apply this with a um, primer underneath it. Because I feel like when I apply a primer underneath it, I can take care of some areas for example if i want to blur a little bit more i can put a blurring um primer or if i want to hydrate a little bit more i can put a hydrated primer so i prefer to use it with a primer now method of application i definitely feel like this one it's supposed because it's a very liquidy one it's very very liquidy i think the best method of application it is using your fingers now i am not somebody that likes to use my fingers when i apply this so um oftentimes i do reach for a brush which it is okay if you find like one that is just a little bit more dense but not too big um and uh, i found it that that one works as well when i tried a beauty blender it did not work that much mostly because all the foundation is being soaked into it and it's pretty much not gov not offering you enough coverage but this is a really nice lightweight very easy to wear you don't feel it on your skin it doesn't feel wet or anything like that i do usually like to set my um my foundations for wet powder for sure so I set this down for wet powder as well. So I don't feel it sticky or anything like that. It does not promise to be light, uh, long wearing, but it is long wearing. I tried it with a mask and I did enjoy it. Uh, it does transfer a little bit more with the mask. And I would say with a mask, you may be able to take like a four hour wear out of it. But without a mask, I did wear it for like seven hours and i had no problems with it it does get get a little bit more um greasier or oilier in the fifth sixth hour but not a whole lot it is pretty good in my opinion it's just a little bit expensive 39 dollars for this skin tint i feel like it's just a bit too much there's some other skin tints out there that um can do a lot um and maybe offer you even um, more uh long wearing uh properties to it if you're interested in something like that but other than that this is an amazing one and i would definitely wear it for like a really 
nice day out you know like i just want i just have a day off and i want to go to lunch with my friends or something like that then i would definitely uh reach out for this one next we have the charlotte tilbury beautiful skin medium coverage liquid foundation with hyaluronic acid boy is that a mouthful it's a lot to say anyway so this one comes in 30 shades 30 shades in this one a bunch of shades are already sold out on sephora website it's absolutely insane a lot of people went really really crazy about it and i have to say it is a really beautiful foundation it is very very nice one thing that i have to say about this one that really really surprised me the most was the fact that one day i had a pimple right next to my lip and i when i was putting this um foundation on i noticed how big it is so i was like oh damn this is so ugly probably by the end of the day it's gonna get even more agitated and actually it didn't it did not actually okay it got a little bit um healed a little bit throughout the day so i was very surprised about that now the claims on this foundations are huge with hydration and everything else i have to say it is very hydrating gives you a very glowy look um but the consistency of this foundation is a little bit on the thicker side and the colors are a little bit on the weird side too because 7n i tried 7n and I do like 7N better than this one. I have this one is an 8N. And the 8N was just supposed to be neutral. It has more olive undertone. And at times can look gray on me. So I have to really, really work my powder with this one to make it work for my skin. Now, eight, uh, 7N is a little bit on the lighter side than what my skin is. So I have to say I don't have a perfect match in this foundation um and that is a little bit upsetting but uh also it's upsetting that eight neutral it is olive undertone i don't i don't get that anyway this one is beautiful they say it's a 16 hour wear foundation mm, i bet to differ because when I wore this one, and it's true, I wore it with a mask and I wore it without a mask as well. But when I wore it with the mask, it was maybe like a six hour foundation with the mask. Without the mask, I would give it maybe a nine hour. But after nine hour, it becomes really, really greasy and it becomes a, like kind of wears out. You can see around the mouth, around the nose. So it is not a 16 hour wear foundation but it is a beautiful foundation the best method of application with this one is definitely a beauty blender i do not like to apply this one with a brush because it does leave some marks on the face because it has that heavy consistency um also another beautiful way to apply it is with your finger if you like that method of application i actually recommend that one even better if you want to have more of a fuller like um full coverage look you know this is a medium coverage foundation but if you do apply it with the um beauty blender it can take a little bit out of the coverage so it can get a little bit on the sheer side so i would definitely recommend to use your finger for this one next one we have Elia super serum skin tint spf 40 this this is the sheerest out of all of the ones i tried this month and this is supposed to be a uh clean tinted serum that provides light dewy coverage with mineral spf and active levels of skincare ingredients and is now available in a range of flexible shades i think this one comes in like 30 shades as well and it is a uh, light coverage finishes radiant liquid very liquidy yes and is an spf 40 it says it's a plant-based squalene hydrates and visibly improves elasticity without clogging pores niacinamide visibly smooth texture minimize the appearance of pores soften lines and promotes even tone and hyaluronic acid micro and micro penetrates at different levels to visibly plump and boost skin's moisture level it says this product is vegan cruelty free uh, gluten free and comes in recyclable packaging 
I tried this one and at the beginning I thought I'm not gonna like this one because it is sheer, very very sheer. It's only gonna even up just a bit your skin tone. So, uh, and I also knew it's gonna be very glowy. I have oily skin. I was like, oh my god, it's gonna be too much, too much. But I was wrong. I like this. I like this a lot, actually. I was very surprised by the fact that um, it went really nice on the skin with the fingers. I don't, uh, don't try with the Beauty Blender, it's not gonna work. The brush is not gonna do a good job either, but fingers definitely use it as a serum. So that's how I used it as a serum. I applied it uh, with my fingers and it is very long lasting. It really works well with powder as well. I tried the um, powder no powder from the war on top of it and it looked absolutely beautiful. And that powder kind of gave it a little bit more coverage for my skin because I'm not a sheer sheer type looking foundation person i'm just not um and i really enjoyed that another thing that i really enjoyed about this one is not as glowy um it is very long lasting and it feels like i have nothing on my skin i really enjoy that feeling and um i gotta say although it doesn't give you a lot to work with it is it does a lot in the same time because it kind of brings your skin tone to the same color but without looking like you're wearing anything on your skin i remember i had this one on one day at work and somebody was asking me what um what am i using for my skincare because my skin looks amazing I was like, oh, I, I actually have a foundation on. I have a skin tint on. And they were like, you do? It doesn't look like you have anything on. So mm, I was very happy about that one. Um, and so definitely I have to say this one looks amazing. Very, very, very natural. Very, very, very natural. If you're that type of person that doesn't work any other type of makeup, then this is the product for you. If you don't want anyone to know that you're wearing any makeup on and you just want something to like kind of give your skin a little bit of color and be the same everywhere, even up the skin tone, this is the product for you. All right, now my favorite foundation that I tried this month, NARS. This is the NARS Light Reflecting Advanced Skin Care Foundation. Oh, this foundation is beautiful. Again, a bunch of shades are sold out from this one. A lot of people went really crazy about this one as well when it was released. Um, and same in my store. I had so many sold out. And this one is supposed to be an advanced makeup skincare hybrid foundation with a natural finish that quickly blurs and smooths while visibly improving skin's clarity over time. This is supposed to be a medium coverage, natural finish, formulation is liquid, it's supposed to have biomimetic oat, which visibly improves clarity by reducing the appearance of redness. Japanese uh, lily turf support a strong skin barrier by helping maintain uh, moisture and cocoa peptide and milk thistle, uh, which minimize the negative effect of blue light and environmental stressors. It says it's free of parabens, formaldehydes, and so many other stuff in there. And it also uh, has less than 1% synthetic fragrance. It's vegan and it comes in recyclable packaging. This is my favorite from all of them that I tried this uh, month. Mostly because you can apply it with any any f type of application you want. It's going to work well with brush. It's going to work well with a uh, sponge. It's going to work well with your fingers. I tried all three different types. I loved it every single time. It gives your skin a very beautiful natural glow. It is so lightweight. You don't feel anything on your skin. And it looks absolutely beautiful in your skin. It feels like you are um, wearing like airbrush foundation. You know what I mean? 
Like it just feels like your skin, but just a hundred times better. And it looks so good for the entire day. I wore this one under the mask. I was so surprised. It lasted nine hours, nine hours under the mask. That is insane, insane. And then without wearing a mask, it lasted in more than 12 hours. I absolutely love this foundation. If I would say to choose one from the foundations that I, I showed you today, this would be the one that I would choose. Absolutely beautiful. I love it a lot. Uh, looks, it doesn't, nothing happens to it throughout the day. It does get a little bit oilier, like I would say maybe in the eighth and ninth hour of wearing, but man, during those times though, it's so, so beautiful, so beautiful. I definitely recommend this one a hundred percent, a hundred percent. Okay, and the last product that I tried this month was this RCMA Makeup 5-Part Palette. They have six of them, six different shades that you can choose from. And uh, this is supposed to be a palette perfect for on the go. It says it contains five of the most popular shades from the KO series. And it's supposed to be a really good um, on-the-go, basically, palette that it can use. It's supposed to give you a very um, high coverage as well for the foundation. Listen, I like this one as a foundation. Um, I don't like the, wear, the way it wears. It gets oily very, very quickly. At least on my skin it does I would say maybe two hours in I'm already seeing a big shine all over my face and I do not like it as a concealer I do like it as a foundation but as a concealer I don't like it I tried it as a concealer just to kind of see how it looks under my eyes you know if I would want to go and travel somewhere maybe for a weekend maybe this is the only thing that i want to grab right i want to make sure that the concealer is going to look good in this one and it doesn't under my eyes it looks really really cakey and i felt like i needed to put that much because um it was not covering uh the under the circles that i had right the the dark circles around my eyes with just a little bit how they recommended so this i'm on the fence about it because although i do like how it looks after i finish putting the makeup on it looks absolutely amazing beautiful 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 but two three hours in for my oily skin is not a good foundation it does not wear good on me so i would say if you have more of a dry or maybe normal skin i would go with this one but if you are an oily girl like me I would maybe skip this one or maybe wear it only when I need it for like a couple of hours. You know what I mean? Not something that is going to be very long lasting. I do need long lasting foundations because I absolutely hate um, doing anything else to my skin. I'd rather just put my makeup in the morning and take it off at night. I do not want to do anything throughout the day. And this one is not that type of foundation. And at the end, I want to talk about this primerizer from Smoshbox. This is the Photo Finish Primerizer Hydrating Primer. Insanely beautiful. Can I tell you, I never ever had a hydrating primer that I liked. But this one, this one, it's a must have. This one feels like, it's also like very milky. When you squeeze it out, it has a milky feeling, a milky composition, looks like milk. But it feels and looks absolutely amazing on the skin. The only foundation that didn't work well with this one was the Ilia one. But Ilia doesn't, doesn't like any type of uh, primer underneath it. So that's that. But this one worked with every single foundation that I tried. And I tried it with seven foundations. Yes, seven different foundations. And every single one of them looked absolutely beautiful on top of this so i definitely recommend this one amazing and there you have it these are the foundations and these are my thoughts about these foundation that i wore throughout the month of february let me know 
what would you want to see in the month of March? I know I'm getting some good stuff in the um, gratis. I cannot wait to uh, get them, but I'm also willing to buy a couple of things. So let me know what foundations, because there's so many new releases. Let me know what foundations are you interested in so I can give them a try in the month of March. Let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice one. I'll see you all next time. Bye now.